lanes yet and hurry up. No fighting here. Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and Keith are out again on a, a wild camp or hammock in a, up at the Glendale Forest. Well, what's left of it? The state of that. <laughs> some forest that, eh? Hopefully we'll find some more trees up the road a bit. Nice wet drink day. Eh? There's Keith there. Hello. <laughs> We're going to push on and hopefully get a nice hammock spot because it's pouring down. Nice and moist. Be a selkie if you're wet. <laughs> He's no shivering like last time anyway. Eh? <laughs> that was a belter, eh? Oh. Up the goat there. Hopefully, get to the end of this track and it should sweep around to the right. We'll get down the other side of the river and get hammock set up in that bit more dense forest. Hopefully, just now, for 100% moist. Boom. Very moist. <laughs> oh. oh well, we're not going down that way. Too many trees down. We'll back down over the bridge and hopefully cut something in that side of the forest. Hope we we'll get something soon. It's freezing like. <laughs> Soaking wet, man. And we're still walking, looking for a spot. So many trees down here with the weather. The rain's getting heavier. Hopefully get a spot soon. <laughs> a pain in the arse, but hey ho. Part of the adventure. We'll get somebody's get the tarp up and uh get out of these wet clays. Get something dry on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, eh? Fucking soak straight through, man. <clears throat> right then, guys. That's the hammock in that set up. Been about one nightmare, to be honest, yeah? That rain's non stop and it's just getting heavier and heavier. My snug pack bag I've got is obviously no waterproof. <laughs> Idiot. Sleeping bag's wet. I've got uh, I've got my water boiling now. I'm gonna put some water into my Nalgene bottle and my titanium bottle, put it in my sleeping bags. It's not the first time I've done that. I've done it uh, a while ago. My bag got wet and I just dried it out with hot water in a bottle. Uh, uh, pain in the arse. But uh, this is area they camps constantly raining, so I'm glad I thought about it for a, for a change and uh, I popped my ridge line in the top pocket of my bag so as soon as I got to camp, ridge line up, tarp was in the top of the bag, tarp straight up, out first, shelter. You should always put your shelter up first, prime example for when it's pissing her in. I've got my two wee stoves with so I'm sorted for my cooking tonight, I'm not I'm no, no interested in cooking anything over a fire tonight to be honest. I've got uh, just got noodles and that, and I've got any of the boil in the bags for the decathlon. So that'll do me the night. <laughs> Can't even see us. That'll do me the night. So I'm gonna go down to the river soon and get some more water. 
because I'll need more water for boiling for later on too. But I'm going to carry on and get this uh, get this sleeping bag dried out. I just noticed that my my down quilt's a wee bit wet there on the corner, so I'll be getting that dried out too. <coughs> Maybe thinking about getting some food on for lunch. <coughs> but uh, what a horrible drink day, man. Nightmare. It's a nice mistake. <laughs> oh, it's honestly going to be amazing. You hate treating your knife too. <laughs> I'll cook it for the inside with the heat for the night. Oh, there we go. Right, I need to get water, so Keith says there's a wee stream over here someplace. So we're going to have a look. Says I'll hear it. All I could hear is that river down there roaring. <laughs> but uh oh yeah, fuck it. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna turn around. Oh, I could hear it. Look oh, there it is. Nice wee trickle. Right, that's the water collected. I've got mere water boiling. Sleeping bag's basically dry. I'm just drying my, uh, my down quilt, my down quilt, my down blanket. And uh, I'm going to get some food on. I've got water boiling again. Like I say, I'm going to have some food and then put the water bottles back in the sleeping bag and that. I picked up this wee chicken and rice. Chicken and rice? Rice and chicken curry for decathlon the other day. Just a wee boil in the bag thing, we just add water to. We'll give that a try the night and see what like it is. I've got chorizo and noodles there too, but I wasn't really in the mood for having a fire or that or uh, cooking over a fire the night, so... To be honest with you, I could be doing but <laughs> freezing. A wee fire would be great to dry, dry stuff out, but nah. I've got my, my alcohol stoves with, so I'll just use them. So we're going to get this on, see what like it is. <coughs> and take it from there. Maybe get a beer open. But <laughs> uh, it's been about a nightmare all day, like. Nice backdrop of there, though, eh? You'll see in the morning, uh, mountain view, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> All right. So it's got different lines in there. So I'm going to fill it up to the line that says 5, which is 250 mil. <laughs> Doesn't look that great, like, eh? Hopefully it tastes better than it looks, eh? It smells alright, like. We'll seal that up. Just the heat off of that from my hands, <laughs> just everything right now is amazing. Right then, let's try this wee uh, rice and chicken curry. See what it's like. <clears throat> hopefully, it's nice. Doesn't look the best, like, but <laughs> hopefully, it tastes nice. That tastes alright actually. You can see inside that. <laughs> Rice and chicken curry. Keith again's forgot everything. <laughs> Just uh, let me use the stove there to 
You had to boil. <laughs> you had to boil his steak in a cup to eat it. Fucking <laughs> standing there <laughs> eating chunks of boiled steak. <laughs> Nice one, this is tasty. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this just now and uh, get a beer on the go. Cause uh, I was miserable a wee while ago, but I'm fine now. Dried out, dried my sleeping bag out. I got the stove, I'm still got boil water boiling again. And uh, we'll just keep it in the sleeping bag and on a dome down quilt just now just to keep them dry and cosy because I think it's going to be a cold day in anyway so didn't want a wet sleeping bag but uh yeah. we'll get our food out and we'll get tidied up a bit and sort out the rest of the gear because it's it's a wee bit out of the place chilled out in the hammock Got a beer open now. Well, how devastating would that be to spill that on my sleeping bag after spending hours drying it? <laughs> I'd be wounded, mate. Aye. You're almost as bad as you bringing your stove in, gas. <laughs> <laughs> we hizzy, gent. Ah. Now it's no bad night. I just need my dry socks on, but we'll, but we'll worry about that once I'm in the hammock. Is that a neighbour out there, aye? <coughs> you alright there, pal? Yep. Say hi to the camera. Huh? Too fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we zipped up it for gonna come back because I fucking hell. <laughs> Nothing fancy here tonight. Some barbecue beef, super noodles, some chorizo. Yum. He's got a wee super noodles, chicken super noodles with chorizo. Well, he's making with them. <laughs> I'm so grateful. <laughs> Delicious. I had fancy here. There's something to keep warm. Right then, guys. That's me on, in the hammock now. We've, uh, it's been a, a wet day the day, like, soaked right through. Sleeping bag was soaking, absolute nightmare. I'll not keep going on about it. Here, end of the day, we adapt and overcome. We got it going. We dried out the sleeping bag a minute now, cosy. I've had food, drunk some beers, had a great laugh as always. So I'm just about to chill out in the hammock now. We've not done much video in the night, because uh, to be quite honest, we have been sitting under a tarp. The weather's been shocking. But here, Many people would have just turned back and went him, no us man, just get it done. So I'm going to chill out now and watch something on YouTube. I've got a few things downloaded obviously because there's no signal up here. And uh, we'll take it from there. Probably just catch you in the morning anyway, but... Unless anything happens, it'll be the morning. Good night. Good morning. Well then, that was a decent sleep last night. I slept like a baby. Boy, I'm listening to the rain all night and then I dozed off. Still pouring the rain now. <laughs> That's Keith shouting morning through the forest there. Suppose we better go up and get the wet trousers back on, eh? <laughs> Make a coffee. Water myself up a bit. Looking forward to walking back to the car like, I'm going to get soaked. Oh well, it is what it is, eh? That's why we love it.
fingers are freezing. Well that's water boiled for a wee coffee and that because let's face it, it's pissing around and freezing so we're going to need it. I'm going to have some breakfast now. I picked any of these wee things up for the decathlon too. It's just muesli and chocolate. We'll get a try, see what it's like. It's something warm, eh? This is bitter. I suppose it's alright for what it is. The wee tint of chocolate gives it a nice taste. I'm just going to wire into this, get it finished, get my coffee done, and probably start packing up my gear. No point in hanging about, it's pushing around. So, I hope we're a mountain view. I got a mountain view on pictures last night, but the mists covered the mountains again, so we'll just get the breakfast there, coffee done, and then uh, slowly start packing up and get back down the road. Right, guys, that's it for an hour. Well, camp. I'm out with Keith Fikiri, I'm outdoors again. I'll pop his channel up here someplace. We're out camping in the Glendall Forest in the, in the hammocks in the pouring rain. We didn't realise that it was going to, looked at the weather, it wasn't going to rain as much, but we walked in and yesterday got absolutely soaked and we had to just find a pitch. We managed to get a spot up here with a nice view of the mountain. It came and the mist cleared now and again and we were able to get a mountain view, but there's nothing today, it's pouring the rain again, so we're going to get back down to the car. Nice wee walk back down and get, get back down the road, but uh, I'd just like to say thanks again for everybody that's been watching my channel, commenting, liking, sharing. My subs are growing, they're growing slowly. I'm no far away from 1800 now, so I appreciate everybody that uh, shares my channel and uh, subscribes to us. What we say for day one, this is my hobby. It's only my hobby, I like getting on the outdoors, enjoying myself. So uh, if you want to continue coming along with my journey, Subscribe to my channel, like, share, hit that notification bell, it all costs nothing. We'll catch you on the next one guys. Cheers. Are you wet? <laughs> Very wet. <laughs>